so many people have been asking us what exactly mm -hmm. is the criterium or the crit as so many people refer to it as. Well, our own Laura Hall got to talk to organizers today and she breaks it all down for us. Start line on the corner of Gay Street and Cumberland Avenue. Now, the crit race that's happening today is much different from what the races were yesterday, in that the criterium is fast, short, and it's technical. The criterium is a 1.1 mile course through downtown Knoxville. Cyclists say this race requires a lot of tactic, and it's more a reactionary racing style where athletes stay open and flexible. Part of their training has been creating a heat stress on the body so cyclists adapt to Knoxville's heat and humidity. So there's a lot of preparation they can put into it. Um, one of the easiest is if you're living and training already in an environment that is basically the same. So if they're living in a hot and humid environment, they're going to be probably some of the best prepared, both physiologically and psychologically. Um, but then if they're not, a lot of athletes will have still done some sort of heat intervention as part of their training approach to get ready, whether it be utilizing a sauna protocol or hot water bathing um, or overdressing on some of their rides. Now with the criterium, the paracyclists do 13 laps. The women race for 70 minutes and the men race for 80 minutes. Reporting in downtown Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Laura, thank you so very much. You know, she was talking about the heat and humidity. Yeah. You want to cross our fingers. Right now, it feels great down here because of the rain that moved through. Say, catching a little bit of a break. I know the cyclists probably appreciate that yes. as well, as do we. 